Hi Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, it's a prediction. <laughs> it's not a personal reading, it's general. So let's see what we have in this connection with you and the person, person on your mind and see what we have. Pisces, in this connection, spirit lines. Okay, so trust, trust is an issue here. Mm -hmm. Faithful, interesting. Well, for you, it's an issue. It's a big issue here um, that you're wanting. I feel like you're very aware of this. So There's just, just no trust anymore. You're probably trying to work on yourself. No, you are working on yourself. That's what I see here. But I feel like you've done a lot of compromise here, okay? Maybe you're trying to, you know, avoid someone that's been selfish, you know, kind of taking advantage of you. So let's see what we have for them. What's their energy towards Pisces, Spirit Lines? What's their energy towards Pisces? Like, you've done a lot of sacrificing. Okay, so you're seeing them as someone that is avoiding you. And they're actually questioning. They're questioning about you. They're questioning something about you here. Um, they could also be questioning their your social media. Or if you've been dating or something like that. We have sadness. So this person has been sad and you probably don't know that. Bottom of the deck we have reconciliation. Somebody else had that. Um, I think it was Capricorn. And I shuffled before this. I did a reading before you, yours. So um, you don't know this but they're sad. We'll see why. Okay see what we have for best self for Pisces I feel like you've been trying to stay grounded connecting to your higher self you've been trying to get your confidence back or being patient with this person I feel like you're seeing this person as somebody that just comes around and um, why am I getting that you've probably messaged other people <laughs> what i'm getting trying to hold back by messaging other people i don't know that's probably for one person but i'm um, getting also that you are seeing this person as not being serious about you you know messaging you only when they want to um because this is my willy wonka card you know like you can't really take them serious they're acting a fool give me more of this faithfulness So there's been a lot of ego or mind games and you just cannot trust it because of all these mind games. Okay, you want something that is balanced, that somebody that will meet you halfway, that will understand you, that will reassure you. Give me more of these sacrifices. So there's been a lot of, who a lot of maybe inner conflict or a lot of conflict surrounding this connection and it, it has hurt you a lot you know there could have been also competition with the five of wands here but somebody here is not one there's like a power struggle or something like that there's a struggle here between you two where they don't want to compromise and it hurts you like emotionally hurts you give me more of this avoidance so they're trying to avoid it avoid you here big time they're they're trying to act like they're moving on but they're not they're just stuck um too but they're just blocking themselves from this why are they questioning this spirit guides why is questioning here okay so they're questioning you they're questioning if they should even start new uh, with new love here 
it, they are fully aware that they have a lot of wounds themselves. So they have this also this wall here blocking new love. Probably even just daydreaming or probably even looking at your social media or questioning if maybe you're going to chase them or call them or text whatever email. I feel like this person is trying to block this but is also questioning if maybe you're going to come towards them to try to start something new for some reason that's what i'm also getting give me more of this sadness yeah you don't know this but this person is actually mourning some kind of loss um something here they or mourning some kind of loss they don't they don't yeah this person is lost they're emotionally confused it's very hard for them to even think very um opt be optimistic about love they're just going through some kind of loss here so seven of swords they, there's been a lot of lies deceit i don't usually say that but i this is what i'm feeling so that's that's why uh, faithfulness is a problem here because there, there's just too much mind games going on okay what is this person's energy their thoughts towards pisces spirit guides okay See, they're keeping themselves restricted okay they're blocking themselves from this i feel restricted and confined by my circumstances so they feel restricted because i feel like they're mourning something a loss i don't know what it is um it could be anything here maybe they're also wanting to just keep their options open because they're just lost lost themselves not knowing what to do they don't think very um, good about love. Okay, that's what I'm feeling too. Youthful. Let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. So they just want to be out there, be having fun, uh, maintaining their youthfulness, maybe like immaturity, basically. Like not caring, not having a care in the world. Uh, we have soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. So they know that there is something here that's still unfinished um between you two so let's see what are their feelings towards pisces what is this person's feelings towards pisces sad again i told you so they're sad over you they're sad over this and you don't even know this they're sad that if that it ended maybe they're confused as well they don't they don't see um they're not optimistic about this okay and they're blocking themselves from starting all over with you okay so let's get you some advice advice for pisces spirit guides advice for pisces Keep things light and fun okay so make the relationship look like something that will be fun light and carefree no expectations go with the flow and allow things to work itself out so allow things to just go with the flow of things don't try to control anything because i feel like if you do they'll get scared <laughs> they'll you'll scare them off um but it's really up to you of course i think if they're easily scared then you know it's not even worth it but that's just me my opinion not the cards so it's really up to you we have cancer pisces air sign um fire sign sag earth signs leo water another pisces a gemini uh earth sign i mean air sign fire sign Wow, there's not a lot of groundness here. Not a lot of earth. Okay, not a lot of. It's all, yeah. It's there's no nothing grounded yet. Okay, so 
I do see earth here, but not a lot. Um, air, water. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, and I will be back later. Take care of you. Mm, bye. Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is a prediction uh, for strictly singles. Okay, I'm going to change it up a little bit and see when new love is coming in for singles. New love for singles, Spirit Guides. When is it coming in? on a holiday so it could be um the next holiday you know the or maybe even on a holiday like a vacation okay so you might meet someone out of state or maybe when you're out on vacationing or um or just on a holiday like the next holiday what is it memorial day weekend if you're in the u.s so let's see what we have for strictly new love here spirit guides give me new love whoa we have well to do coming out so somebody here that has good it's going to be a mental connection unspoken and understanding about many things could be an air sign and well to do you can depend on me i'm financially stable and grounded wow i love that okay let's see what do we have here for new love pisces new love Pisces yeah wow I feel like this person is going to be like a dream come true we have dreaming of you this person is going to be there's going to be a mutual connection here okay I feel like maybe you're still dating or spirit really wants you to date around get to know people there's plenty of fish in the sea okay but the next one that's coming in this is a catch okay this is gonna be a catch for you so let's see pisces new love pisces okay so yeah plenty this is somebody going into um i don't know <laughs> one of those house back in the day where there is a lot of um you know women okay so they're going into that house there's plenty of, of fish in the sea okay so this person is probably out there searching for you as well they've been dreaming for someone i feel like they're gonna meet you out there they're gonna have that mentality you know like okay let's date you see new new we have the full here it's a uh, somebody want needing wanting to take a leap of faith here could be an aries it could be you willing to do this hmm why is the three of swords here yeah the worst is over so i am clarify the three of swords and the world came out the worst is over the whole heartbreak thing is over you need to go out there and experience new people with the two of the two of wands go out there there's gonna be someone new coming in okay see and you're gonna find there's success here success over this heartbreak getting over this heartbreak and finally finding the sun here happiness wow beautiful actually i want this one yeah somebody that's gonna want to work together this is gonna be like a self-made person as well somebody that is willing to put in the work with you um they want to share what they've worked so hard for with you with the three of pentacles and the sun here they want to be happy with somebody here and work towards something stable secure that's what i'm getting with the three of pentacles is somebody that you work with um it could be even at work but i don't feel that i feel like this person works very hard it's a hard worker here and they're a catch because you see all this woman looking at him hard worker here okay it could be out on vacation i keep telling you with the sun also vacation but you're gonna find happiness here finally it's like the heartbreak is over the worst phase of your life the challenge is over okay so let me get you some advice advice for pisces for this new love that's coming in could be another pisces and aries a gemini okay 
two wrongs don't make a right they make they make a mess if they have done something wrong in the in is no justification for acting in a similar way figure out where your relationship went off track and choose the high road okay so there might be some i feel like there's gonna be a rough start at first okay there could be a rough start at first but i feel like both of you will work things out maybe there is some like a wedge between you two i really am getting new love here so i feel like there's gonna be like a bad start at the beginning <laughs> so just try to um just work things out don't um get discouraged right away i don't feel like it's um old i really don't okay so this is just advice for your next relationship okay don't discourage don't dig don't get discouraged right away so we have fire water we have um, taurus aquarius leo scorpio um, air signs aries pisces and um earth signs leo okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and i will be back later take care of you mm, bye